Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I am here just checking the energy, right? Seeing what's going on with the collective. Um, this reading, just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, right? It is a collective reading and you can be any sign for collective readings. I hope you guys know that. Um, if something pulled you in from a title, there's something in it for you, but just take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't force it, right? And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support, for real. The likes, the subscribes, all of my subscribers, everybody new here. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everything, you guys. You, you really are awesome to me out here. All right, Divine, what do you have for my beautiful collective? Oh, boy. Somebody's thinking back on how they lied, manipulated you, treated you like they were better than you. Didn't we just have this? They completely ignored you. And now you're out here on a glow up and in a time of celebration. And this person is feeling very defeated. They may have even gotten betrayed by the person that they chose over you. And you're in you're having the time of your life out here. I feel like people are there's a lot of people talking about your glow up. OK, um, you could be very beautiful here, too. You know, the star energy is stunningly gorgeous. OK, um, no matter what age you are. And I feel like um, you're you could be in the public eye here doing something that everybody can see it. OK. And people are celebrating you. I feel like these could even be the same people that were hating on you before are now loving you and possibly even turning against this person. Okay? Realizing that there were a lot of lies about you. Somebody feels betrayed here. Clarify this Ten of Swords. Ooh. Yeah. They were tricked out of their wish fulfillment. Um, that's what this is. Yeah, they believed somebody else, whether it's the person that they chose over you or whether it was somebody else's lies. They believed them. And they didn't even give you really a, a good chance here. You know, they didn't give you the benefit of the doubt. They didn't give you the respect of talking to you about it. I feel like they just turned their nose up at you and turned around, gave to someone else, ghosted you, kept you sitting here waiting. They knew that you were sitting here feeling empty-handed, okay? They knew it, but they did it anyway. And now they're realizing here in your glow up and with everybody loving you and celebrating what you're doing out here, whatever it is that you're doing, okay? Um, they're realizing they were, they, were, they were tricked out of wish fulfillment and destiny here. You could be dealing with a, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, heavy on Virgo. You could be an Aquarius. Yeah, now this person wants to get back together. Now they don't want to let you go. But I, I feel like sometimes I feel intimidation off of this card, okay? Yeah, this person's all up in their ego here. And I feel like, um, the, yeah, people are turning on them. They're turning on them. You know, um, yeah, I'm getting the sense that they're getting a lot of crap over how they treated you, okay? This could be friends, family, co-workers. They, they're seeing this person was possibly a manipulator, um, very egotistical, very much, I mean, they were a jerk. I feel like they were just a jerk to you. Yeah, and look, they, they toyed with you. They were a player. Everybody is seeing this person. Um, they're realizing how poorly they treated you, and now they're turning on this person. So, yeah, and I felt that here. With these three feminine energies, I feel like at once these were your haters. These were fake friends, and now they're celebrating what you're doing. They're loving what you're doing. If you're giving any kind of spiritual messages, I feel like um, people just want more of it, okay? They're holding their cup up, like... Give me more of what you're doing, right? Um, yeah. And I feel like they're completely ignoring and shutting out this masculine if they're not giving them a lot of, um, a lot of uh, trouble, right, for how they treated you. 
I just feel like they're getting a lot of opinion shot at them from like everyone about how they treated you. Like they should have defended you when they had a chance to. They shouldn't have believed the lies. Um, they shouldn't have acted out of their ego. They shouldn't have kept you sitting here empty handed wondering what was going on. They shouldn't have thought they were ever better than you in the first place. You know, people are telling this person, why, why did you, look at, here they come, telling this person, why did you walk away from the collective like that? How could you have done that? This is a healer, an empath, somebody who cares about other people. How could you have done that? So the people who were upset with you before and hating on you before are now backing you, okay? They're now um, your supporters, they're now giving this person a really hard time about how they treated you, okay? Yeah. What's underneath this? Ah, look at that. Somebody, yep. Yeah, I feel like that was the that was the offer, right? They came towards you. It, they're just acting very immaturely. Okay, we've got the they, we've got them coming in as the Knight of Wands, the Page of of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, their ego and their manipulation and their arrogance really, you know what? It didn't get them anywhere. Them standing, you're sitting on this forever, wanting to possibly control the situation. It didn't get them anywhere. As a matter of fact, they're losing friends. They're losing people who supported them. Nobody really wants to listen to this person anymore. Everybody's giving them a hard time. We know you just walked away and ghosted the collective. Why did you do that? You could be a Gemini, um, Aquarius energy. I've got heavy Aquarius out here already. But um, yeah, people are um, watching this person. Yeah, look, they're getting a lot of grief. A lot of grief. And I feel like you know it too. You know. You know that they're, look, this person could be suffering bad health at this time. They could be losing money. This is kind of hitting rock bottom here, okay? And they are feeling very isolated and alone because everybody is blaming them for hurting you. You know, they're seeing the truth here about this person, okay? And they're feeling very much out in the cold because nobody is believing them anymore. They're angry with how they treated you. Um, you're not talking to people, you know, these could be ex-friends, you, uh, this, the high priestess is silent and still, okay, so I feel like you're not talking to anybody, and people are like now blaming this person, which, I mean, it was their fault, you know, even if they were told lies, they still had, um, they still had free will, they still made the decision to believe the lies, and treat you like you were trash. They treated you like you were garbage. Something that, that, that they could just discard and walk away from. And you don't get to do that to another human being. And I feel like you're out here caring about others on a glow up. Being beautiful, peaceful, calm, an empath, intuitive. They had no reason to do this to you. And that's what people are telling them. Okay? They're like under some kind of attack from their friends, their family, everybody who knew about them ghosting you, um, everybody who knew that they had left you sitting here empty handed wondering what was going on. They completely ignored you. Anybody who knows this, they don't even have to know you. They just need to know what this person did. And boom, these haters are now your supporters. Okay, do you see this? And they're going against this person, a lot of them. There could be a whole community of people with something to say about this person's sneaky, arrogant ways, okay? People are seeing everything clearly now. It's taken a long time, but they are. This is like total vindication in the background because you were majorly betrayed. You gave this person nothing but love, and they stuck a sword in your back for it. 
okay? And then they left you alone. You had to reach back there, pull that sword out yourself, right? Do all your healing on your own. You've been sitting here wanting the truth, much like you are here. Like, when are you going to give me the truth? What's going on here, right? You want to know why you were, you were so betrayed. This is, this is what people are seeing. You are the one who was betrayed here. I feel like these people uh, from the past, they, they may have blamed you for this, you know. But now they're seeing the truth and now they're all coming to back you. I'm telling you. They're all your supporters now. Yep, everything is out in the open. And I feel what this is is vindication, I got to say. That's the feeling I'm, I got when I first saw it, vindication. And all of these people now, they see you as the one who's out here shining, okay? They may even, some of these people may want another chance with you. They want to come back around. Uh, but yeah, everything is exposed here. And the, so is this person, the lies, everything. And they are losing friends and family um, with yeah. every time somebody watches you, a friend or a family member gets angry. Okay, yep, they're in a lot of regret for what they did because you're just out here doing nothing but winning, doing nothing but winning collective. What's underneath that? Possibly even a getting a new soulmate connection. Um, and look, all of these people are fighting with this person. I'm telling you, that's everybody that's in there, um, that what they were talking to, right? We got five wants here. Um, we've got six wants here, right? Um, yeah. Yep. And you're about to get somebody new. They're in a lot of regret for believing the lies or letting you take the blame. They're regretting um, letting you sit and wait for, uh, for any kind of attention or um, any for this person to take some kind of action, right? And I feel like they're very ashamed. They're, this is a lot of shame here. They're being shamed in their community for how they treated you. And it's by, like, everybody. Everybody's ripping on this person, okay? Um, yeah, you're about to get new love here, and this person's about to be heartbroken. They're missing out on this. They are. They know now what they missed out on. And look at them sitting here lonely underneath this tree. Because, man, nobody, if anybody wants to say anything to this person, it's to blame them for how you were treated. I feel like they're literally losing everyone in their life here. They're alone here, alone here, alone here. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. And now all of these people, they're supporting you. Okay. Yeah, they see this person as toxic. And their friends are telling them that. You, you may, man... You are nothing but toxic to this earth angel, to this light worker. You are nothing but toxic to them. How could you have done this, right? How could you, how could you have treated them like that? Look at how they look away, feeling all shamed. I'm telling you. Yep. How could you have done this? This was your fault, right? Look at how shamed they are. Yep. And their friends aren't wasting any time telling them, um that they were a toxic individual whatever they tell them okay i mean they're saying things like dude you were so stupid they they're saying things like um man th that's horrible to do that to somebody you know i mean they're telling them all of this they're all separate opinions from separate people and meanwhile you're out here as an earth angel and everybody can see it because you're in the public eye everybody can see that um you're a divine being here Okay, everybody knows that everything is out in the open now. Okay, vindication from a whole entire community. Okay, and your person is left alone and shamed by the entire community. You know what they're showing me again, guys, is there's a scene from the old original um, Clash of the Titans, okay, where Zeus 
is um, telling somebody about um, Calabas's punishment, right? He'll be shunned and forced to live as an outcast in the swamp, okay? That's what this is. Shunned and forced to live as an outcast. Um, for real. People are mad. This is, this is somebody coming in mad with something to say about how they treated you, okay? Shunned, right? Doesn't he say something about that this person is shunned and shamed, um, wearing some kind of mark as a, uh, you know, to mark their shame for whatever they did to you, something like that. I don't know. I don't know all the words, guys, right now. But it's it. It's the movie scene with Zeus um, punishing Calabas, and yeah, no mercy. That's what this is. He'll get no. I'll show him no mercy. Yeah, these friends are showing no mercy, man. Okay, they're not. I'm telling you, because they see you as an Earth Angel, the one for them the empress and they're calling this person a fool because they missed out on a wheel of fortune with you yep wow um let's see let's see how this person is feeling okay I, i'm feeling shame here off of them uh, they may feel pretty pretty dumb right now they may feel very foolish but th that's what these these friends and family members, whoever they're around, um, that's what they're, they're telling this person. You were a fool. You were a fool to miss out on this earth angel. All right, so how is this person feeling? You could be dealing with a Leo, Virgo, heavy Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Pisces. You could be a Virgo, Leo, Aquarius. Uh, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries. Yeah. Yeah, this person's in love with you, but they, here's the thing. The, these are either the resentful people around them, like I'm, I've been telling you, right? Or this is your energy. They're in love with you, but they know that you're angry with them. They know that you've been very offended in this. And I feel like this person is praying for another chance here they're longing for you okay they could be they could have old pictures or um, you know be looking at your photos or reading old text messages but yeah now they're longing to have you back okay and they're being called a fool behind the scenes you have total vindication here and you don't even realize it <laughs> I'm not kidding a whole community now is seeing the truth about the whole situation. Okay? Yeah, this person's sad. They're very frustrated right now. They feel very blocked. You could have this person blocked on your phone. Um, and I feel like they have no one to help them with this either because nobody, everybody sees this person for what they did to you and watching you take the blame for things, right? I mean, they feel, the, the, even the people around them feel tricked. They feel tricked because they were made to believe that you were some kind of blame for all of this, and you weren't. So these people are mad. They're really mad because these are the same people that could have been sending you spiritual attacks, and they were attacking the wrong person. Your person's really sad because they may be finding out that you could be getting new love here. They're feeling very jealous, very suspicious, okay, and very, very guilty. Very guilty. It, this is that feeling of shame, okay? That's what this is. Knowing that they're responsible and at fault for how you were treated and this whole entire situation, okay? And everybody is finding that out. It's all being exposed to everyone in the community. Um, let's see what your advice is. What advice do you have for my collective? Yep, they've got no time left to fix this. No one's believing them anymore. 
Nobody even wants to be around them anymore. They're, everybody's disgusted with this person and their lies and the way that they let you take the blame. Like you were the scapegoat for this person and they let it go on. And people are disgusted by that. They are. They've got so much shame in the community right now, okay? What, um, what advice do you have for me for the collective? That was on the bottom of the deck. I feel like people are asking this person, like, why did you do this? Why did you make us believe you? Why did you let this go on for so long? Why, 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 right? Why, why, why? Yeah, because it's been a never-ending story for you. Why did you do this to the collective for this long? Look at what you've done to them. Man, I'm telling you. I feel like your person wants to get away from this community of haters now on them, but they, they feel like they can't. They feel very stuck. Yeah, things are coming to an end for this person, but there's a rebirth for you. Okay, as I say that, new life is, <laughs> is in this little stack. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a rebirth for you. So things are coming to an end for them. Things are coming to an end for the haters, too. They're no longer hating you. Now they're um, taking aim at this person, okay? <laughs> I mean, for real. They, now they're, they're blaming this person. Everything is, I feel like everything is going as it should. Now um, the one who should have taken the blame is taking the blame. And the one who should have had some peace and a, and a new life after all you've been through, that's what you're about to get here. Because this unfinished symphony here, um, this never-ending story, it's coming to an end with a 10. We've got two 10s here. Coming, it's coming to an end for you, and you are reaching for a whole new life. Things are about to open up and get so much better for you. Oh my gosh, but your person, they're going down. They're going down. Yeah, I feel like now, honestly, I'm feeling like the good energy that you've put out there is coming back around. And the bad energy that people put out is coming back around to them. And you are about to get blessings here. Blessings upon blessings. Okay? The land of milk and honey. Now everything is opening up for you. Um, this is like the night or the sorry the ten of cups here in this deck. So ultimate wish fulfillment. Yeah, and there's a lot of chaos and conflict in the background. Okay, but you're out here getting blessed. So I feel like keep doing what you're doing. Some of these people are going to come in too from your past. Some of these haters are going to try to make make up for everything. They're going to want to mend. The relationship with you okay this could be friends family all right but use your intuition with everyone I feel like at this point in the at this stage and everything you can't trust anybody I mean I'm sorry but I just want I feel like telling you guys trust no one right now Okay, when things come to an end, sometimes it's better to leave them alone. They're giving me the pet cemetery vibes, okay? That's what they're giving me. You know what happens in pet cemetery, right? Something is uh, no longer alive, and they try to bring it back. And all kinds of craziness happens. So that's what they're showing me. Is that is seen? Sorry about that. So like sometimes I feel like you're going to be thinking to yourself some some of these relationships it's better off just letting things go and letting things be over. Okay, some of these people you're not going to be allowing back in. They're going to want to come in and mend things with you now. Now they will. But where were they then when you were suffering and taking the blame for somebody else's BS? They weren't backing you then. They were going against you then. Sending you spiritual attacks. So I feel like you're going to you're going to leave these people in the past, okay? And I feel like that's as your advice, that's what the divine is telling you. There's just been too much chaos. There's been too much conflict. There's just been too much that you've been dragged through. 
and now I feel like you're leaving people behind. That's one of the reasons why they're upset with this person. Because, I mean, it, what this person did, it, it didn't just ruin your connection, okay? But it ruined other people's connections. They allowed it to ruin connections, okay? Because some of these people were close friends that turned into a hater, okay? And now they're seeing, oh my gosh, that was actually a really good friend. Now I lost my friend. Do you see what I'm saying? So yeah, this person's being blamed and shamed, okay, by everyone in the community that knew about this. Yeah, time's up. Um, you may even see something go down, right? You may witness um, this person getting getting a lot of, of BS. And I feel like if you do, that's a faded event so that you can see that you're getting your justice, that you're getting your vindication. So yeah, for someone, you're going to witness something happening or you're going to find out about it, okay? Um, and and it, that's coming in very quickly because the some of you feel like I can't move on unless I'm vindicated or get some kind of respect and justice here, right? And the divine wants you to move on. So they're going to they're gonna show you like a glimpse through a little window or something, right? Of this person getting, you know, torn into by some friends, ex-friends who now believe in you. So you're going to see something happening. And the divine, um, that's, that's the divine showing you. You are, in fact, being vindicated behind the scenes. You really are. I feel like after this, you'll be able to release this connection. Okay? You'll be able to re release it. it. It will satisfy that need for fairness here. Okay? Yeah. Anyway, collective, that's what I've got for this reading. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Uh, if you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, right? If you want to join this awesome, awesome soul tribe, we really are the best soul tribe out here, you guys. Everybody is so nice, okay? Um, and anyway, thank you, collective, and until next time, take care of you, and peace out.